could you make a video on VWAP? Why yes, of course, I can. By the end of this video, you'll understand what the VWAP is, why you would want to trade it, when to enter and exit a trade using the VWAP, as well as why I refer to it as a launching pad indicator. What is VWAP? VWAP stands for Volume Weighted Average Price, and that's exactly what it is. It looks at the average volume and price that an asset is trading at, taking into account the candles that have the highest volume. It's important to realize that the VWAP is an intraday indicator, meaning that it's no good trading from day to day. It's only going to be good on a smaller time frame, those of which are one hour and below. But it's also important to realize that the VWAP VWAP is going to look the exact same on every single time frame. VWAP is also used by large institutions to buy and sell shares without moving the price of the asset too drastically. So why even use the VWAP? Why you ultimately use the VWAP, that's up to you but most big moves originate from the VWAP. When candles are trading above the VWAP, the asset is considered to be at an above average price. And when candles are trading below VWAP, the asset is considered to be at a discounted price. And now that you know why you would want to use VWAP, let's take a look at some live examples. All right, so here we are looking at Apple on the five minute chart. And this blue line right here is the VWAP. This is the last trading day that Apple had. You can see that coming from yesterday into today, there's a huge movement in the VWAP. And that's exactly what I was talking about earlier when I said the VWAP is not good trading from day to day. But once a new day gets started, the VWAP is valid on all of the smaller time frames. Just to go over some of the stuff we mentioned earlier, this is the VWAP on a weekly chart. It pretty much just moves with the stock. Daily chart, same thing. Four hour, there's a little more movement, but still no good. On the one hour chart, you start to see a little bit more. And then on the 15 minute chart is really where it kind of starts being relevant. Before these examples, we're gonna drop down to the five. The ideal way to trade a VWAP is going to be off a retest. My strategy, if I'm trading the VWAP, is gonna be for it to break through the VWAP and then on the retest is when I enter. So first we have the breakthrough, signal number one, and then right here we have our retest and that's where we go in for our entry. So right here we got our breakthrough, retest, and on the rejection of that retest is where we take our entry. And once again, the VWAP is no good intraday. So ending the day up here with all this momentum, it's wisest to sell out and take profits. For example, number two, we have Mars. So once again, starting below the VWAP, step one, we get that cross to the upside. Step two, our entry is right here on this retest of the VWAP. And this time there's a break in momentum before the day's out. And best practice is going to be to exit right here when you start seeing signs of a reversal. Or since we're on the five minute, take a look at what it looks like on the 15. And looking at the same chart on the 15, it looks like it's a healthy pullback. See how it goes from there and continue to ride your position until you get that slow in momentum. This right here is exactly why I refer to the VWAP is the launching pad. Now you know what the VWAP is and even how to trade it. If you enjoyed the video or learned anything, be sure to smash the like button. If for some reason you're new here and haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any future content. And last, but certainly not least, thank you so much for watching. Matthew Manuel signing off and I want to change your life.